Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of weird, wild content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers this year to celebrate my 9-year anniversary of making YouTube content. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out the third most popular project on all of Kickstarter, which typically, comics don't get up in here, so I'm really excited to see what they're doing. That is Coffin Comics Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation Number 1. That's a mouthful. Brian Polito all new epic 64 pages of story and art 23 plus comics unlocked so i immediately know that one of the big draws here is brian polito so i like the fact they're spotlighting that for the people who know are in the comic know but for the rest of us who might not be in the comic know hopefully they tell me a little bit more about brian polito when we get into here and you say of course they're going to tell you about it but no that's not always the case sometimes they don't do it so uh coffin comics lady death sacrificial annihilation number one uh it's kind of hard to read the text but not quite uh, and the reason why is because they plan it for this big image right here, which is about to pop up, which, yeah, it looks totally clear and clean. But you got to remember, most people don't look at this image. Most people are looking at the other image because as soon as you click on this video, this image goes away forever. So $320,000 uh, raised in a very short time. Spectacular. Uh, so as always, when I go to the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Brian Pleto, creator of Lady Death, and we are back to unleash the most epic chapter. Love that. First thing. This is who I am, and this is what I always say. Giving a personal touch to a Kickstarter, I think it's just it goes such a long way, both in the front end and and in the back end. In the back end, when things don't go so well, when shipping pallets don't get, where games don't get to there, it just it pu puts a buffer, so it's like, oh, I don't want to I just feel like it's a great thing to do. A latest undead life, an all-new 64-page original graphic novel entitled Lady Death, Sacrificial Annihilation. <laughs> this story unleashes <laughs> a Coffin Comics company-wide event, Invading the Coffinverse, all oh. 2021. The end is... Okay. I know nothing about Coffin Comics. I know nothing about this character. I don't know nothing about any of the other characters in that universe. But I am now even more intrigued in this project because not only what I want to this project, you know, because 64 pages, that's going to go fast. I'm going to read that really quick. Now I would have other things that I could read about and I could talk about in discussions with other people and maybe I meet new people because of this. You know, they're offering... Within the first 30 seconds... They've, they've, they've given me a glimpse of what I'm getting, but it's oh so much more that it could potentially be, and I love the fact that they're doing that. Like, that is just awesome. It's near. Heroes have fallen. Cities lay under siege, and swarms of monstrous progeny fill the sky, blotting out the sun. It seems no one can stand against the awesome power of insurrection. And this is, in the board game world where I'm from, this is what I love to see when you can seamlessly interweave the theme with the components, which in this case is the actual, uh, the, the images from the comic with the theme. Love it. Bread to destroy worlds, the ruthless tyrant now sets his sights beyond Earth, commanding vicious monster hordes to invade every corner of the Infinityverse. Humanity's only hope lies in Hell's most fearsome warrior witch, Lady Death. Hatching a desperate plan, Lady Death leads a band of anti-heroes, angels, and outcasts to confront insurrectionists wow. and an army of malevolent offspring. So this is their, this is uh, their huge, gigantic story arc. This is the arc that if these comics got massively popular, we'd see in the movies 15, 20 years from now. Like, to put it in that perspective, because that's quite literally what we said. You know, the Infinity Gauntlet arc, you know, that's what we saw, and that, you gotta think it like that. And so that gets me even more excited. This is, I gotta say, they're crushing it with the video right now. A minute 40, though, is a long way to go. There could be only two outcomes for our deadly diva. Victory or a total... <laughs> the most epic coffin verse story ever told. Guest starring Lady Satanus, Chaotica, Conjurer, Michael the Archangel, Wargoth, Steelheart, Mad Mike and Ratso, Madam Midnight, Mujai, Volnavia, Captain Scargrave, Lady wait, wait, wait. Serena, Hana, Mad Knight. I like this Captain one. Gargrave, She's got like a, another Captain woman Scargrave, on her shoulder. Lady Gunfighter, Serena, Hana, Zack and Zane Xander, Hellslinger, and appearances by Medieval Lady Death, Pony Death, La Muerta, Death. Loco, Devil Lock, Rada, Paxson, introducing Captain Death, the Trust, 
the Slaytonists, and plenty more surprises. Help me bring this next wow. gigantic <laughs> chapter to life is co-writer Mike McLean, illustrator Diego Bernard, colorist High Five, and veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. And here's the thing, these projects are done. You just gotta So here's one thing I'd recommend, and this is this is just a straight up idea. It's not even a nitpick. It's just I don't know if it's possible, maybe have some of the other things they've worked on on the side here. You know, if, you know, anything like that, I think it would just look, uh, cause like right there, it's like, oh, I see the background of all the stuff we worked on. Um, uh, just a little thing I noticed. Mike McLean. So overall though. You know, everyone you know about Coffin Comic. Thank you so much, everybody. We cannot thank you enough for your support and for being so effing cool. Swarm. That was, that's how you build brand loyalty right there. There's going to be some people who just say, oh my god, so cringe. Just cringe for days. But there's going to be some people who are like, that's awesome, I love that, that's the kind of... That's the kind of CEO, because I'm pretty sure that's what he is. Like, he's the he's the head dog of the company, most likely, or somebody like that, that I want to support. And we probably have that. You probably have that in your day-to-day life. There's some companies where you know of, like, like Elon Musk. Like, I personally really like Elon Musk, and it just makes me naturally like Tesla more. You know, it's it's just one of those things. I like the fact, because you put your head out on there on the chipping block. You definitely do. Anytime you go out on public like that and you put videos out like that. But I love that. Awesome. So do I want it? Yeah. As a comic fan? Yes. Totally. Can you do it? Uh, you pretty much answered that in the question by saying, we have an entire universe already. This is kind of our thing. You're just seeing the climactic event you know, the, the the conclusions of this climactic event, or you're going to witness this climactic thing that's going to happen in our world. Um, awesome. So First Created 11 backed. Now, here's... So First Created was not something I expected. So this is their first dabble on Kickstarter. Coffin Comics is the outlaw independent comics label that publishes the Coffinverse line of graphic novels, including Lady Death, blah, blah, blah. Sign up for the VIP newsletter. Are you new to Lady Death? Download a 12-page sample. So this is... Wow, this is a really great About Me area. Because they are just like going out of their way to do exactly what they should be. The whole section of this. 99.9% of the time people aren't like, oh, I wonder what your day job is. What are you like? Let me know about your kids and your family. No, they want to know why should I trust you, especially if it says first created. Because we've all been back, we've all been burned by Kickstarters, and this is someone bending over backwards with information saying, hey, trust me, trust me, trust me, we're totally good. And that's what I want to see. Uh, so let's click on this. Coffin Comic, Lady Death Universe. And then we do have one collaborator. Cool. So, uh, because once again, updates and comments, those are very important to keeping you high on the popularity chart. So the Kickstarter is live. So this is just a website that takes me... Oh, so it's closed. Then we got uh, different things. Shops where I can buy stuff. Coffin Comic shops. Things you can buy right now. And that's what I want to see. They're doing action figures. They're doing a whole bunch of things. So immediately, the Can You Do It is done. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. And look how much I found out about this project already. I have not read one single word of the story. I looked at the main image. I watched the video. I clicked here. And that's, you want to, you want people to know those three things right from the jump. So hopefully they don't beat around the bush. We get straight to the price, especially with just a 64 page book, but then I'm sure there's going to be some sort of whale where I can get the whole massive extensive story, which is what you want people to back. So don't beat around the bush too quick, uh, too long getting to that price point, hopefully. Uh, are you new to Lady Death and Coffee Comics? Get a free Comics Cogit digital sampler. Once again, the can you do it in the do I want it done right there. First thing. Beautiful. Love it. This sampler includes four action-packed stories for Lady Death, La Muerta. And so now you're, that's the first thing they did is they're like, oh, here you go. This is to prove that we can do it, but it's also going to introduce you to these four characters that you're probably going to like. So that way you're going to pay us more money excellent and get you more invested in the world because you know those characters are going to be in the story i love how they're handling this right now this sample includes four action packs okay campaign table of contents Ooh, organization interesting you will find these elements below lady death her story add-ons and over pledges how to add to your pledge okay the creative team the management team contributing form uh campaign updates preview pages reward graphics official links so i will say I like that they have this laid out, like that you can see this. I, however, hate the organization of this. Uh, but we'll see if I hate it in practice. Let's, let's, I, I want to come into it with fresh eyes. Because so far I've been wild, completely wild. Lady Death, her story, so this is going to tell us about the character. So I feel like this is the first misstep. I'm sold. If I'm someone who has a lot of money, a lot of disposable income, which 
letting you know that's the board game community like they they routinely spend two three four hundred dollars on one board game and all the stuff that comes with the board game they have a lot of money they have a lot of hobbies because they could afford that and you right now are in a very interesting position because like i said typically comics don't dip into the top like six nine twelve of the popularity charge so you could be potentially catching the interest of some board gamers of some role-playing games because that is primarily uh where the most money gets made on kickstarter uh so interesting i don't know where i was going with that this is i I do like what they're doing here okay (laughs) i went off on a tangent and then i got lost that happens a lot adhd all right so lady death this is the character cool lots of pictures these are a lot of pictures why am i seeing so many pictures um this is interesting why is this here (laughs) So Lady Death, Sacrificial Annihilation number one, is the 14th chapter in Lady Death's new Coffin Comics era. And as we launch this Kickstarter campaign, the creative work is 100% done. All we've got to do is print, assemble, and ship, and that is where you come in. Printing and shipping ain't cheap. We need your support to bring Lady Death to light. So you're bringing, you're telling me a little bit of the behind the scenes right there is stuff, but most people know that already. Now, uh, I'm going to make, uh, so here's the thing. I, I'm going to predict that there's going to be a lot of new backers here. And no, it's not. It's so it's mostly still returning backers. Okay. Okay. Take backsies. I thought maybe it's because the first time. So interesting. All right. A note about add-ons. See something from the campaign that is include. Oh, the price. I just need the price. What's the 60. Well, what's the cost of the 64 page book? Like, it's great. You want to, you want to tell me all about this and how this is the 14th chapter of the who's with the what's it, but I just need a price. Do you have questions? Commonly asked questions on Kickstarter are answered on the FAQ section. Yeah, I, well, once again, here's the thing. This is good information to have for the 29 new people. But this information should not be spotlighted, in my personal opinion, higher than a lot of other useful information. And that's what I get to when I talk about organization of a Kickstarter page. Like, the fact that this, that you helping out these 29 people who don't know about kickstarter and and how it works uh is more important than the price and yes i know the price is over here but it should be seamlessly interweaved into your story because a lot of people they don't even watch the videos they skip past i've done polls on this as well so everybody shops differently some people go straight to the price some people go straight for the story some people go straight for the video but anywho backer support access hours of operations this is good to have it's just an odd place to have it you know this this feels like a bottom of your kickstarter page sort of thing to be quite honest or maybe even right after the add-ons you know once because you still haven't even told me about the add-ons why are we talking about the add-ons when i don't even know what the add-ons are that we're going to be talking about you know or are these the add-ons but because I, I don't think you told me that to send us a message from a computer yeah this is great stuff to have but i would put it at the bottom towards the bottom add-on tutorial desktop web browsers once again i don't know even know what the add-ons are why not have the add-ons first but this is great this is a straight up tutorial on how to do the add-ons cool makes me wonder if doing the add-ons is going to be confusing add-on tutorial you are really bending over backward to make sure i know to these add-ons that's i feel like that's just give me the price first i feel like that's uh the creative team co-writer so we got the team the management team once again this is typically things that are towards the bottom and because i still don't even know what i'm buying contributing cover like great cool whatevs will lady death sacrifice number one rock and then we have images of the stuff now we're now we're we just you're just randomly showing me comics is this what's going on now like what is this what's going on there's like the organization of this as someone who's new to this now i've checked out other comic projects as well this is not like comic industry standard or something just just this organization is just very confusing like i just want to know how much the book is and then i want to know how much the book is if i want to get read about all the ponies and all the other characters and stuff uh, okay, so now we're talking about the other things. We're showing you're showing me images of the other things. Potentially, is this? Oh, so this is from this is what's happening in all the different places right now. So you get like a sense of how epic this event is, which is great. But it's like not greater than the price. Unlock from free. Oh, unlock free bonus items. So we're done just showing off artwork. All backers pledged towards physically shipping rewards will receive a ton of free bonus items with their reward shipments okay uh that's cool we just unlocked this at three hundred and ten thousand free bonus uh so what is it the free bonus is the uh coffin verse character card so it's gonna be a card cool 
And most likely they come in like a uh, oh they came in like a foiled wrap. That'd be cool too. That'd be a neat little collector's item you set off the side. That's neat. I like that. Once again, this is not typically how we do stretch goal sections though. And this is showing me that you didn't maybe put in the most research on what the industry standard is for Kickstarter. Uh, so I would always recommend before you launch a Kickstarter project to go check out some of the top tabletop games projects out right now because that is like the top top of the top you know that's like the nfl nca you know if you, if you go if you get that one like that's the cream of the crop most of the time rpgs is up there as well but I, board games is still king but anywho uh the stretch goal section is awesome and i would totally recommend having your stretch goal section substantially higher because as always when i say when you launch a kickstarter the goal is to get the game funded get the the comic funded make it happen once that happens you immediately need to pivot to the next goal, which is making this project the absolute hottest, most buzzed project that people have to come back and check every day because there's so many exciting and different things going on. Because that is what Kickstarter wants to be the most popular things. That's what Kickstarter wants because that's more people spending time on Kickstarter. And so stretch goals, especially if you're going to be unlocking them pretty frequently, which you know, I don't know if that's the case because you haven't shown me a stretch goal section yet, is how you're going to get people to come back and how you're going to tickle those Kickstarter algorithms. So love this hate the organization of it though and also like why why just why are you only showing me one thing that we've unlocked when there's clearly probably quite a lot of things all right oh so here we oh this is now we're down to the stretch goals so that's the weird thing so why is this one okay so it's so large whatever uh so now this oh my goodness so i would oh so every 10k so i would quite honestly have this leading up to your pledge levels so this is just like wait this is all the stuff i'm getting i'm getting the full logo enhancement i don't know what that means i'm getting a sticker i'm getting a black and white edition uh so i'm getting two two versions of it am i getting two copies is is this is this what because if that's what you're saying that now you're getting not just one but you're getting two or something i don't actually know what you're telling me here and these are unlocked right we've hit 120k because you just said we hit it 310k right yeah, so this is, I'm going to guess that this is this is blowing up quicker than they were expecting it to, which is why potentially we're making a huge jump from 120,000 to 310,000. Once again, uh, it's a great problem to have, but this is one of those things that it, it, you, you should know. <laughs> like, if you look, like, you have got to have stretch goals planned out really, really, really high in advance. And preferably having those images ready, all those pictures ready, every single one of those ready, because that's how you you can catch that lightning in a bottle. That's when we see these projects explode up to a million dollars or two million dollars in a day or two. And that's because they're just continually catching the buzz. And it's the kind of thing where I have to keep coming back and people have to keep talking about it. It's like, oh my gosh, you're getting so much free stuff. It's We see it all the time in miniatures game and the board game side, where it's just that we keep getting more and more and more and more and more min min minis. And it's like, I'm all right, I'm already paying $160 for this minis game, but now the more popular this game gets, the better the game gets. And that's how we have these gigantic gigantic minis games with like six boxes just full with nothing but minis because people were able to catch that lightning in the bottle which it looks like you might be doing like if you are actually giving me additional comics here or what is this anywho eight extra pages of story wow eight extra pages of story that's amazing uh why is it not lit up uh I, i'm guessing they're just they're just dealing with just how crazy things are going right now Pledge to unlock more. Your pledge and shares are your key to success with Lady Death. Thanks for all the support. You rule. But still, wait. So why, 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 why is this? No, we're doing. You mush them together. Okay, continuing on. So now we get to keep going on the ride. Eight extra pages of story. Oh my gosh, this story is getting bigger and bigger. That excites me. How does that work though? Are you writing more story? Are you adding that? Okay. I'm a little, I'm a little confused. Memorial card, eight more pages of story and art, fifty-six grand total, sixty-four grand total. Uh, Memorial card two, pledge to unlock more. Oh, so we just, we keep. Uh, well, there's lapses in between it. What else? Memorial card number two, a magnet. A memorial card number three, double-sided bookmark. And this is what I'm talking about. You're gonna get so much swag before the end of this. It's insanity. So here's what I'd recommend: if you really want to jump the shark, if you really want to go crazy and build some brand loyalty, maybe you start actually giving out some of your swag. Maybe you know, uh, if you're looking for more micro stretch goals which it looks like what they are doing you know get on one of those print shops where you can just print your logo on a whole bunch of different stuff and you can start unlocking cool stuff like that things that will actually be functional to people things that they'll actually use uh and those are what i like to call banger of stretch goals because if you look at it from that perspective like let's say you just get crazy and you say if we could raise a hundred thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars more everybody's going to unlock a uh, coffin games you know micro usb little charger just like a tiny little thing and it's going to cost you like 675 I don't, I don't know what it's going to cost you 
you, you factor all that in. But that's a banger of a stretch goal to the consumer, whereas these cards, you know, they're great. But give me, a, like, a bottle opener? Like, if there was a bottle opener at 260, I'd say, hot diggity dog, I'm actually going to use that. Whereas these cards, will I? Will I really? Um, just something to think about if you get to the point where you need more stretch goal ideas because <laughs> you're, you are blowing through stretch goals, which is awesome. Uh, so, and we're, it may, oh, but they're just going to keep going more characters? That's fine. That's fine. You're just going to have a whole freaking deck of these things. That's awesome. Maybe, maybe you somehow make that into something where you can even play a little game with them, too. You know, 360k, we make this into some sort of small fighting game. I don't know. Just tons of, of ideas, uh, of potential things that you're going to need if you're going every 10,000. Because this thing is launching off like a rocket ship, and it's fun to watch. Uh, fiend fun. I, but, but once again, I still don't know the price. Like, this is weird. We skipped a major fundamental step in it. Fiend fun. I want you to be our financiers. In return, we'll make a graphic novel for you that we can bring. We can all be proud of. I've learned that fiend funding is the very best way to bring coffee. That's cool thing is that these creative... What is fiend fun? Are you talking about Kickstarter? You're talking about people using Kickstarter? <laughs> because remember, 1,479 of them... Those fiend funders are like, no, that's just Kickstarter. The 29 are like, fiend fun, yeah, Kickstarter. Like, that, if that's what we're talking about, that's so weird. Know your market. That's all, Know your audience, I should say. And that, luckily, with that community section, they tell you everything you need to know. Uh, the cool thing is that, the, yeah, so you were just once again trying to convince me of Facebook. I, I feel like you're like an old man, like, ah, I'm telling you, Billy, those cell phones, they're not going to steal all your information. It's like, I know, Grandpa, like, I've had a cell phone for six years. <laughs> like, that's what I feel like's going on right now. Where does the money go in rewards? It's, once again, I, 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 it, this is good stuff to have. And the, way, the reason why I'm joking is just because I don't have you, the most useful information, which is how much it's going to cost. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Those are the three big things you need to convince backers. You crush do I want it and can you do it in, like, the first two minutes. And now, when how much it is, it's just we're dragging. I just need the shipping. I need the price. I need. I want to see these sexy pledge levels of what I'm going to buy. So here we go. Reward one. We're here. And I know you gave me the thing up there saying this is where you can specifically find stuff, which is great. But still, I just would like it better order. So that, and I do need to take that into mental consideration when I give this a grade. Because if you, you clearly are not going to scroll through everything here. You're just going to say, I just want to know the reward section, so I'll go straight to it. And quite honestly, now that I say that out loud, this might be the best way to do it. This is really good. And I've seen other companies try and do things like this and do it in different ways. But I'm really a big fan of this general format. And I think this is what we need to do. We need to make this industry standard going forward. But I still think the organization here could be better. All right, so Sacrificial, sacrificial Annihilation, the digital copy, $6. That's a banger. Oh, my and here's the thing, you start off, just look at this mentally, I just want to buy your product. So after that video, I'm in buy mode. If I see $6 as the first price point, I say, okay, I'm dealing with someone who's actually going to be giving me reasonable prices right here. I'm not going to be getting, feeling like I'm getting jammed because I'm supporting you on Kickstarter. Uh, and, and I think it's just a good way to lead off. So I would totally move this near the front. Uh, honestly, maybe stretch goals first, then this. Anywho, six dollars, bingo, and it does not include the free bonus items because yeah, th then you have to add shipping, which is a whole different bugaboo. Coffin Comics, Ugh, no, no, okay. So, I, I, uh, this is t-shirts just always are feel like an add-on item to me. If you're doing add-ons, and you specifically mentioned you're doing add-ons. I don't feel like having t-shirts is a good pledge. And we will we will see when we get there, because it might be like 200 people take the t-shirts, and I'll say to the people, like, Bauer, you're an idiot. People love the t-shirts, and I'll, I will crunk that into my brain, and next time I see t-shirts, I'll say, you know what? Some people love the t-shirts. <laughs> That's how I learn on the Kickstarter critiques. It's so fun. But anywho, $6 uh, there. One idea I do have that I think might be a popular pledge level, maybe, is no that's a stupid idea never mind <laughs> i was just gonna say let me know what you think about it maybe if you could just get the unlock goodies as an add-on hopefully that's an add-on that you could get where if you get the pdf you could still get the unlocked uh goodies if you didn't want to ship the book i don't know i don't know add-on item let me know what you think about that as an add-on item yeah because that is something they do in board games all the time like if you just want the kickstarter uh, unlocked miniatures for whatever reason all right so we have t-shirts full screen on black shirt unisex design uh, $25. That's actually a really solid price for the t-shirts. I don't have an issue with that. 
Uh, and they go up to 4XL. Yeah, 4XL for $25. That's a really solid price. I still don't think that's going to be a very popular pledge level because, once again, it feels like more of an add-on. Coffin Comics, so we're, we're, we're on to another T-shirt. Okay. So, sorry, so here's the thing. This is the star of the show. This is what I feel like most people would do. Just, I want the book. You've convinced me. $30. I don't have an issue with that because, once again, I know $30 sounds expensive for a book, but it's, it's, you're, you're buying all the hard work that got put into the book. So, 30 bucks. Not to mention it keeps gaining pages. It's getting better as we progress. Because once again, that's the other thing. Every single stretch goal that you hit that adds pages, this $30 becomes even easier to swallow. And and that's why I personally think leading with stretch goals and then straight to this price and knowing that this price is going to get better as I go on because I'm getting more stuff as we hit these stretch goals and now I'm excited for this project because I don't think $30 is unreasonable if we don't have any of those stretch goals but we do we're getting tons of little goodies okay please note that this add-on wait these are add-ons no this says reward anywho please note this add-on is not available to backers that select digital only rewards tiers <clears throat> rewards 1, 21, and 32 so they're saying if you're going to buy a book you have to just buy the book. You can't add on the book. Okay, I get it. Sacrificial Annihilation Cosplay Edition Wraparound Cover. Okay? Sexy cover. So, oh, this is a... you though. So these are what we are unlocking. We're unlocking more things for you to buy. And those stretch goals I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't think most people are unless they're bangers. But we will see how popular this is. How much can sex sell? That's the name of the game here. We're going to find out firsthand exactly how much sex can sell. I'm excited to check out these pledge levels in a minute. But I know there's going to be more. I have a feeling this is going to be an incredibly long, clogged, convoluted side over here, which I hate, which is why, you know, just... And this is this is no extra cost. Wait, so this is just this... This is not just the cover. This is the game. So this is a specific... So yeah, okay. Or not the game, the book. And so then we have the homage edition. So this is another... An, so alternate artwork, I'm cool with that. No issues with that, actually. Uh, and those three pledge levels, I wouldn't have an issue with. Or maybe that's the kind of thing you can do in the back end. I don't know. Arthur Sudam Legend Print Premiere Edition. Uh, okay. $42. So if you want to... No, so this is a exclusive... So this is the version of the game with an exclusive print. I don't have an issue with that. And now we have a hoodie. Just kind of thrown in. Once again, this feels terribly, terribly, terribly like add-on type of material. Uh, and, and I do believe that's what you're actually doing. I think you could just add this as an add-on, which is why I wouldn't recommend putting it as a pledge because it just clogs up this area so much. So, so much. Uh, so then we have another hoodie. We have the hardcover edition, $46. Once again, $16 more. I don't feel like that's reasonable. I feel like that's reasonable. And then we have a print premiere edition. So this now we're back to soft cover, which makes things a little bit interesting. Uh, print, so this is, so you get this, and then you get that. Okay. Cool. Then we have another one with the naughty one. Oh, naughty. Okay. Okay. Let's see how much sex sells again. Uh, so reward 12. And then we have, we have this with another poster. And this is just so clogged and convoluted. Like, this is just, ugh. Um, and this is the kind of thing where it's like, you get to the point where it's like, okay, I don't even want to know what's more expensive because I'm just, at least I'm coming to this from the perspective of someone who is not already engaged with these comics. I'm trying to convey that point. I think if you are already a huge fan of this, then this would actually be a fun ride to go on. But I think you could make it a fun ride to go on for everybody. Uh, and this one's not. It's just like, now it's like tedious. Because it's like, I don't want to scroll too fast because it's like, I might actually miss something I want. But I know most of the stuff that I, I don't want. So this is a two-book two set. Two arc interlocking editions featuring the epic battle between the sword... So, we're taking the one book and we're breaking it into two books, I guess. Okay, once again, I don't... Uh, we'll see how popular this pledge is. Let's just start getting to that because I'm honestly going to start losing track of all the pledges. So, 56 people wanted the PDF. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 25 bucks gets to the shirt and we have four people. Then we got a different shirt. We have one backer. And then we have the... So this is the this is what you want. This is what you want everyone to do, and this honestly would be what I'd spotlight right from the thirty dollars easy swallowable price. 
Uh, that's what most people want, 175. So then we have the sexy one. Is this the sexy one? 102. So it's a roundabout. Sex didn't crush, but it still did very well, So which tells me that's, that's definitely a legit pledge level then. And then we got this one, which is the uh, a different edition. Yeah, it's just different artwork. I like that. It was a 65, not as popular. So then we have this, plus the print. Uh, 34 people want that. Cool. Eight people want this, which is, yeah. So now we were just randomly talking about hoodies, and now we're randomly talking about another hoodie, which zero people want. Uh, and so they can actually get rid of this one. I, they won't, and now they just look odd if they got rid of it. But Because once, it's just, like, look how cluttered this is. So now we got to the Sacrificial Annihilation hardcover. This is a hardcover, uh, and this is limited. I wonder why this is limited. Because it's just, it's just a hardcover. Just to, the, for the sake of living, I guess. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we have the Commemorative Print Premiere Edition. Now, this is the weird one where it's like two books, right? I've never seen one like that before. I think that's it. Oh, my God. This is so confusing. 10, 11. No, th so this is just with a picture. And 60 people want the picture. And then we got the naughty. Uh, let's see how it sells. I mean, that one's going to be hot. 58. Sex sells, baby. <laughs> Sex sells. All right. Uh, campaign poster. So this is a poster. Uh, oh, sex sells better than that poster, which I actually think is a cool poster. But anywho, uh, the, the two book set, so 16 people want to go with the cool, weird book way, which I think is, I think is a neat idea. I would like to see how that works in practice. Uh, so 51 people want this, and now we're to where we are, which is, so what is this? This is just a different d version of it, right? I think, okay, so this one is a naughty, different version of it, which, for, why is the naughty one? Well, this is hardcover, right? Are we in a hardcover or a softcover? I think this is softcover. We're back on a softcover. You keep interweaving hardcover, softcover here. And that is... No, no, I don't like. <laughs> this is... Okay. No like it. So 17. What is this? This is the double hanger hollow foil initial. The double danger. Double danger, not double hanger. Okay, so it's, it's another sexy alternate one. Uh, this is... I guess this is kind of cool that you can get the thing looking whatever way you want to do it it's just i feel like there's gotta be a better way to do this in the back end where you couldn't you just spotlight oh you did wasn't this where you said there's 14 different covers you're gonna go through i think that's what you actually mentioned a little bit higher but it was like i didn't quite get it so sacrificial annihilation kickstarter metallic card set if you just want cards how many people just want the cards i gotta imagine this is low no 18 okay what the hell do I do? They're just here for cards. I'm here for cards. Nothing more. Or maybe they're just going to add it on in the back end. But why would you stop at cards? That I don't know. Sacrifice annihilation sealed mystery envelope. It's a mystery envelope. Uh, what's inside? What's inside the envelope? So it's going to come with authentically limited creators collection. So what is this? One of two random BP editions. Don't know. Creators Polito's personal copies. I I don't I don't quite. There's a lot of words here that, as a non-comic fan, I'm not sure what's going on. And this this is this pledge level scrolling really far. What what is this? I don't. Okay, so that was. But what is it? How many people wanted to take that fifty-five dollar journey? One hundred twenty-five. Okay, good. So the hardcore comic fans, they know exactly what's the, what the hell that is, and they want that. So that tells me that's a good one. All right, maybe just a little bit more clarification for explain it to me like I'm five, I guess. Uh, so now we're on to 21. No, this is 21. This is Hell Raiders 1. Those are completely different. I, I was going to scroll back up to see what number this was, but I remember it's going to take six minutes. Oh, my God. Oh, organization. Hell Raiders, number one, nice and naughty sets. So these are... Oh, okay. These are just... Ooh, I, uh, okay. <laughs> this, this is... I'm home. I am home. Uh, I am... Oh, my gosh. I'm on streaming. Streaming. <laughs> I do apologize. I'm having some real life stuff going on right now. Uh, partially because I expected this Kickstarter critique to be done, but I'm still scrolling through the pledge level. So then we have the Lady Death Digital Bundle. Where was this? Did I miss this? This was not mentioned, I don't think. Uh, so then we have the Lady Death. Is it four people took it. The Lady Death Rules Volume 1 through 3, which is, what is this? Richard Ortiz's Rules Edition, just limited to 45 copies each. Oh, is this the, this is the Richard. So why are we into Fantasies 1 when we, I think this is 21? Or what's, what's happening? Four backers, three backers, 35 backers, uh, 23 backers. So Pete, you're making people go through it. And some people are going through this, but this is just, this is, I don't even, I don't even know what I'm looking at at this point. Oh, we're at a pledge level. What number was it? 
it was the yo-yo coffinverse edition because at some point we decided that we were going to stop numbering them and i just i i have lost my my interest in this oh so no 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 back to now we're down to 22 we took that was like our crazy college period college period and uh now we're at 22 which is lady death rules volume one through three uh three backers okay so we went through all that for three backers when we could have just added in the the back end and i'm just gonna scroll down because typically when you have one that's really long like this you want to make it like a really fun ride for your people where the pledge levels noticeably get much, much better as you go down. And so you just scroll down like, oh, what's the big one? I'm not going to buy it because it's going to cost stupid, uh, a stupid amount of money. Uh, okay. Just, oh my goodness. This is taking forever. <laughs> I, okay. So what is this? This is like what you really want. The, 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 the omnibus with everything. Yes. A hundred dollars. I would spot like that. Um, Build your own 8 print premiere edition set. This is really neat stuff. Cool too. I mean, maybe have that as an add-on. Instead of the $110 level. Like, how far do you expect people to keep scrolling? Zero backers. One backer. Uh, 15 backers. So some people are still getting in there. 71 backers. But it's just... This is this is not industry standard. And this shows me that you didn't look at a lot of other Kickstarter projects out there. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. <laughs> Just I'm I'm trying to deal with real life stuff right now because it has leaked into my my job <laughs> which is to do a lot of videos like this and I just I have to I have to keep scrolling to see what so what's this is this everything the $400 one the whale this is what you want people to get. This is the big one that you want people to get because it has everything and it's five people. And you know, I think it'd be a lot higher if it was a lot easier to get to. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what we're scrolling through. What is this eight hundred ninety nine dollar one? What was that one? Uh, it's gone. It's, it's limited. It's gone. So if it's limited, it's gone. Just get rid of it because I can't even back it. Um, and it clears up a lot of space. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> that was that was a ride, and that became a very unpleasant ride. Just, just I've lost all interest in it, which was. Unfortunately, because let's go back to the very beginning. I was super excited. Like the first two and a half minutes just crushed. And then you just didn't get me to the $30 price that I wanted. I had to go through the, the mud and the sludge with, with the comic fans who who you also made go through that, which I feel like could have been done in a much better way. I have not done too many Kickstarters on comics. I think I've done like four or five, but none of them have have just made me crawl like 37 pledge levels no there's 40 pledge levels that's that's insanity <laughs> that's just oh my goodness okay so the risks the faq yeah there's nothing the no stone left to turn let's check out the updates get you out of here one comment seven comments two comments 21 comments so that's the best of the updates to so 22 um so I'm going to guess they didn't ask a question. I always recommend asking a question in the updates. Oh my gosh, this is so long. This is this is so long. And so you hitting stretch goals. This is actually fun to scroll through. Uh, but that's why I think it should be on the page. I'm excited for the Brox and his crew. Uh, congratulations. So here's one piece, because I do, I need to wrap this up quickly. It's taking so long. My biggest piece of advice with the updates is if you want to stay high on the popularity charts, uh, you need to do engaging updates and comments. And while you do have tons of information there, you can see the residuals, 22, 21, and then 2, 7, 1. You're losing a lot of that initial buzz. Uh, engage people. Ask questions. Get them talking. They clearly, a lot of people are huge fans of your universe. You should be engaging them in the updates and the comments, in particular the updates about your universe to get them talking in there. What's your favorite character? Which arc are you most excited to read about? Those are easy questions that you can ask that are going to tickle that, you, uh, the, the algorithms and keep you high. Like Because the more people that just kind of stumble in here, the more people who might potentially uh, are just interested. And right now you're making it really hard for them to find exactly what they want. Unless they go over to the right side, which is normally... The right side is supposed to be the cheap button where it's like, I don't want to go through all the shenanigans of the story. I just want the price. And you don't even make it easy to find the price in there. You have to scroll forever. Uh, woo, another card lock. Keep it up. What's the record? But the most I'm, I'm looking for crabulators. Creator. Awesome. So we have some good customer service here. That's good. In the end, what's my final grade? 
Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? Did we talk about the shipping? Oh, no. We didn't talk about the shipping. Okay. Hopefully it's listed in here. Please, 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 please. Please be in here. I clicked on it. Why didn't it show me the thing? Is it glitching because there's so many of them? What? I just want to click on it. Why does it keep doing this? Okay. You see, you don't even have the shipping. So that, that's, that, that's you got to let me know the shipping, especially if I'm buying a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so that is a big red flag, and that is something that, that is going to ding the grade really hard on the A through F there. Uh, yeah, unless there was shipping in there, which I missed, which could have happened because there was just so much. But you got to mention the shipping, especially if you're going to be shipping physical items and a, a huge chunk of them. Uh, and you got to talk about that. So that is a huge ding on the grade, quite honestly. And that's going to bring me down because I was around. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? I only know half of it. And you made it really hard for me to find out. So I'm going to give this project a... Oh, man, the first two and a half minutes were A+. Plus, but everything else after that has just been an F, quite honestly. It's just not fun to scroll through your Kickstarter page in any way, shape, or form. And even as a hardcore fan, I could see the fun being in there, but it still was just... It was too much. It was too much. And I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this a D+, plus, I think. I think they tried to do a lot of fan service... And maybe, let me know if you're a huge fan of this, if you didn't mind scrolling through all that. But I think most other people, like, I think they did a disservice to them. And uh, But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm very interested to see how this Kickstarter plays out. I would highly recommend uh, mention, uh, doing some questions, though, in those updates. Get people engaged, get people talking, uh, because that's the key to staying number three on the popularity chart. That is Coffin Comics, Lady Death, Sacrificial Annihilation, number one. If it looks like my cup of tea, be sure to check that one out until Bauer sent you. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below, because right now, uh, <laughs> just extra money would make the whole big world a little bit easier to live in. But uh, don't, don't feel pressure, too. It's just... <laughs> My worlds, my YouTube worlds, and my real life worlds came colliding. And I do apologize for that once again. But as always, thanks for your time.